Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna do these, the Rudy Project Stardash prescription sunglasses. First, I'm gonna show some video clips of me wearing them. I'm gonna review their specifications. And finally, I'm gonna see if I can recommend them. I'm making this video because I have the Rudy Project Riding Running glasses with a prescription insert, and I've had them for about three years. And I was looking for a second pair of sunglasses that I could run in that would also take the same prescription insert. These came along, they intrigued me, and I decided to buy a pair. This video might be long, and there are chapter markers down below, so you can skip on through to the bits you might be interested in. Let's get going. To test the sunglasses, I went all over Dublin city, walking, using public transport, indoors, outdoors. And I also went for a 50 minute run to test them when I was out running and running hard. 10 minutes was uh, full throttle. So yeah, I did a fair amount of testing in these particular glasses. I'll show you a clip of me running on the beach in them. This was after a hard 50 minutes of running. They were comfortable at all times. They didn't bounce. The nose pad is adjustable in and out and the wingtips are adjustable up and down and in and out. And they were always really comfortable in running in, well, humid conditions, so I was perspiring a lot. So yeah, they were very stable on my uh, ears and nose. Head. The two things that really stand out in the Stardash, one is, the size of them. I, I was, you know, you see them in, in pictures and uh, they look, they certainly, w I thought they'd be smaller than what they are when they actually arrived. When they arrived, they were much bigger and that's one noticeable feature. The other thing combined with that is there are shields on the side. Now, the shields are to keep out glare and dust and they're fully removable. They're very easy, you just pinch them in, take them out. But what they do is once they're on, you really get your vision is framed, which I really like because the glasses size is very large, so you get, the full sunglasses effect. Now I'm wearing lenses inside them, prescription lenses, which you can kind of see here and there. But uh, yeah, the view is very different to the other glasses in terms of just framing. The other thing, of course, is that you have to be really careful because your peripheral vision is blocked. So if you're crossing roads, you really have to turn your head. And initially I, I, I thought that would be a big drawback, but actually when I was running, it probably made me take a little bit more care. I measured the weight to be 40 grams or 1.41 ounces. And when I added my prescription insert, that added 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. So 50 grams overall, not heavy, and particularly not heavy for a effectively a large pair of sunglasses with the wings attached. Rudy Project to talk about the sustainability aspect of these glasses. The frames are made of Rilsan, which is a vegetable derived polymer it uses a large percentage of castor beans made by arkema it's not full uh, castor beans but it is substantial and maybe about half and uh, the packaging they come in this large box and this is made of recycling glasses that presumably in the production line didn't make it for some particular reason but yeah they're all recycled into the packaging in terms of design well there's a kind of 1980s vibe to these they remind me of the Porsche design glasses from the 1980s, a pair of which I had when I saved up. I was working at McDonald's. Um, but yeah, they remind me that these blinkers on the side are a really distinctive feature. I, I really like them. They're very easily removable. Just pinch them to take them out. But I actually don't. I actually keep them on and they fold in. When you're folding the glass into case, the blinkers fold in. In terms of the colorway, these are Stardash Charcoal Matte with Impact X Photochromic 2 Laser Brown lenses. There are a variety of different combinations. I'll go through some of the combinations in a minute. But in, in the USA, I could see that you go for 11 particular ones at the moment, though these ones were sold out, the only ones that were sold out. In Europe, they seem to be eight, and in the UK, there were seven. So you could uh, buy them, and then you can also mix and match, which we'll come to. There are various accessories available, and you can mix and match. There are seven frame colors. There's black, glacier, blue, navy, olive, charcoal, and white. And I think there are eight different colors of the spare lenses. And then as well as accessories in some of the territories, you can buy the case separately and you can buy the lenses separately. And of course, the prescription insert. The lenses come in 
two different types and different models. There are the Impact X lenses, of which there are three colors, black, red, and brown, and they are photochromic, as we really call it, or photochromatic. And so they change in the light. And because I have a strong prescription clip inside in the glasses, if I take the glasses off, I can't see anything. So I want them to be photochromatic. So when I go inside into a shop, for instance, they will uh, become much more translucent and look less like I'm wearing sunglasses indoors or at night. So that's important to me. If that's not important to you. And a lot of people will be wearing these without an RX clip. The uh, the photochromic ones, they say they're guaranteed unbreakable, but I mean, I haven't broken the other ones in three years, but uh, I don't know. But they say they're guaranteed unbreakable, but the other type of lens they have is the RP optics, of which there are five different colors, and they call those static lenses. They don't change in the light. So again, you can mix, mix and match, but it is hard to, uh, on the um, Rudy project, the R Rudy project, ride and running glasses that I have. They're easy to change the, the cover lens out. These ones, I suspect you need a, an optician or special tools to, to change the actual uh, uh, Impact X or RP Optics lens. But on the uh, Rudy Project ride and running, you can swap them in and out very easily. I mentioned the RX prescription insert. This is one here. And uh, it's really handy because you can get the same insert and put it into two different pairs of, of glasses or, or more from the Rudy range. They don't all fit the same glasses, so you do really have to check. But that's that's particularly handy because in, in my case, I think there were several hundred euro anyway to get them. And the, these prescription clips can cope with certain strong prescriptions. You'd have to uh, check with Rudy or your optician. But from my point of view, uh, my vision is uh, it's uh, very focal and it's also astigmatism. So in my right, it's minus six. In my left, it's minus 5.75. There's various other bits and pieces, but I have an add in each one of 1.75. So the clip will take some fairly hefty prescriptions. There are ventilation slots in the glasses running along the top, and I think down to the nose bridging pieces. In the 50 minutes of running and in any other conditions, I didn't find them misting up on me. It is midsummer and fairly humid, but I didn't find any misting on the glasses when I was running around them, and the ventilation slots are helpful. In terms of the use case, Rudy Project seems to be targeting cyclists primarily. That's all the imagery on the websites is a lot of cyclists. I didn't cycle with them. I think the blinkers might be a disadvantage because your peripheral vision will be, be tricky depending on where you cycle. If you're on the trails, less so. They also target them, I think, at hikers and certainly the uh, the wraparound blinkers mean you'll get less glare, um, at high, particularly at high altitudes, that may be more important. I, I really liked running in them. I found them really enjoyable to running in. I probably won't run marathon races and things like that because the Rudy Project running glasses that I have are slightly lighter, but I did really enjoy running in them and the visual effect, I really did enjoy the darkening around the eyes and I certainly saw much more of the chromatic effect. And of course, I'll also use them for walking around and lounging around and all doing the usual stuff that you'd use sunglasses for. The cost varies depending on where you are in the world and what model you get. The model I got is the most expensive one, but to give you an idea, in the USA, they range from 214.99 to 269.99, depending on the model. And in Italy, the most expensive one is 174 euro and 90 cent, and in Australia, 246. 75 Australian dollars, and that's all without the prescription insert. I bought my glasses from Oryx Sport in Peterborough in the United Kingdom, where I bought the previous ones, and uh, they cost me 172 euro and 79 cents, plus some shipping and some taxes. But if you were to buy them in the UK from Oryx Sport, they were 143 pounds 99 sterling. It's uh, on some of the uh, websites that that Rudy have, you can see some prices. I couldn't see for the UK, I could see for Australia, the United States uh, and, and Italy, but spare lenses were advertised in the US and the simpler ones are 64.99 and the more complex uh, photochromatic ones are $84.99 a pair. But as I said, the, I don't think they're as easy to swap in and out as say on the Rudy Project Ride and Running ones I have. Should you buy the Rudy Project Stardash glasses. Well, I really like them. I've enjoyed wearing them very much. There's a curious effect when you're outside walking. They they look like certain layers. You see it less inside. They're less. Uh, they're more translucent here than when I go outside. But when people look at them, there's they can see that there's a layer behind them, and and they're kind of intrigued. They look so, in some ways a bit like wearing Apple Vision Pro glasses, which are, are coming further down the line. But uh, I probably won't wear them for running very often. I will use the uh, 
really project riding, running glasses, difficult to say, um, I will be wearing those more often. But for everything else, yeah, I really do enjoy these sunglasses. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you'd hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there as related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.